Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. I am in the woods today, as you can see. And that's for a pretty good reason, because this tree stump here is going to be 3D scanned by me in just a couple of minutes. But before I start, I am not by no means an absolute pro when it comes to 3D scanning. I just try my very best. And I tried it once or twice before with okay results, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to get better. So let's just get started. Keep in mind to shoot your object from all angles. It's better to have too much photos than not enough. So rather shoot more than you think you'll actually need. You should also pay attention to the weather because a cloudy sky gives you beautifully even light in all photos and you avoid too hard shadows. All right. I have 100 and I don't know 100 plus photos of this tree stump right now and that should be enough, I guess. I hope. <sighs> Let's find out. Meshroom is the tool that I rely on today and that will hopefully create me a nice looking mesh. <laughs> Let's see. Um, it is a node based application such like Blender or DaVinci Resolve. If you want to do anything in the node tree you should do it in the graph editor but I just drop in my 130 photos Check them and delete the ones that I don't need, but in this case, it's not necessary. But before I start the process, let me quickly save this project, just in case. You never know. Once it's saved, all that's left to do is waiting. And if you really want to, you can lean back and watch the progress bar for the next couple of hours or hopefully minutes but hey you don't need to just take a nap Okay, it's done. After almost exactly 100 minutes, as you can see here, Meshroom has finished the job. Let's close this stopwatch. We don't need it anymore. And this pile of icons and dots is what Meshroom created. Each and every camera icon here represents one of my 130 photos. Let's load the mesh. That takes a bit. And boom, there we are. Wow. Okay, it's upside down, but let's quickly change that. I am impressed. Really? We can hide the grid here. That looks not too shabby. Man, it's good. All that's left to do is a little bit of cleanup work. Let's hop into Blender. I delete the camera here. And then I import my tree stump mesh. Here 
Here it is. Import. Upside down again. Not a big deal. I can just rotate it. R, X to rotate it on the X axis. Just like this. I'm, I'm just eyeballing it, by the way. And then I grade it up on the Z axis and to the left on the Y axis. Fine, and now I can switch into edit mode and in top view I select the vertices that I want to keep. And in this case I just choose to box select my tree stump. Just like this. And then I invert this selection and delete all the unnecessary vertices. And because I do not want to bore you guys too much, here is just a little time lapse of the rest of my cleaning up session. And this is the finished mesh. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, this is how 3D scanning works. I guess. Maybe I will do it completely different next time, who knows. Mesh room, what can I say? Um, I, I like it. I'm pretty sure that's not my last mesh room model. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my little tree stump. It's, it, yeah, it turned out super nice. Solid mesh. Um, if you liked this video, please leave me your thumbs up and nothing left to say. I will see you guys next week. Bye.